I'd, I'd like to introduce Dr. Costas Nazos. He is an entrepreneur. He's built a healthcare center that he then very successfully rolled out across some of the most important islands here in Greece, solving a problem of healthcare on the islands. He then went on to, um, to, to sell that on to private equity to take that to the next level. He is um, uh, an academic and very um, uh, influential in terms of his academic research, uh, but one of the leading uh, doctors here in Athens. Would you please welcome Dr. Konstantinos Nazos to the floor. Kostas? Thank you, thank you, Judy. Thank you all, thank you for this invitation. Uh, my work is, uh, for today, is the Key Valley project <laughs> uh, we are planning to create in this island, uh, which is close to Athens Riviera, which is the upcoming area. Uh, everyone now has a great interest in uh, Linico to, uh, for uh, innovation of this area, and it's going to be one of the uh, centers, the new centers in Athens. Uh, this is me, it's okay, I'm a head and neck surgeon. Uh, skull base uh, is in skull base is my experience for children particularly, but I don't want to enter in medical things. Uh, the Kias Valley project. The characteristics are that it's a short distance from Athens. Uh, there is a significant seasonal population. It's a new VIP destination also, and it's a unique medical tourism destination. It's the second island that I'm going to occupy because uh, I created uh, in 2014 from scratch, from nothing, and a clinic in Mykonos with 16 specializations, a plus dialysis center uh, for the dialysis uh, needed patients uh, that they cannot travel, they cannot go anywhere because they need uh, dialysis one day yes, one day no. So uh, I created this dialysis center for medical tourism purposes and I promote it extensively abroad. Uh, I was all alone in, <laughs> from the Greek part uh, in, uh, the, excuse me, in the World uh, Medical Tourism Congress in uh, Los Angeles uh, with my clinic uh, as a gold sponsor to promote again and again uh, this project. Now we are thinking about uh, longevity. Longevity, long, longevity is, uh, our, uh, refers to our health span that's about 70 years and the lifespan is about 82 years. The last, uh, there's a gap of uh, almost a pleasant 12 years in the end. And this is a gap that we would like to cover. Uh, how is uh, the life expectancy go up now to 100 years of age? The people remain healthy and vital. And the last 10 years will be 10 happy years. We would like to achieve this goal. Uh, there are age-related diseases like diabetes type 2 or cancer that could be prevented. We now have some, we have now many modern medicines also. You know probably the new medicine that we are using for diabetes too, but they are using also for obesity extensively worldwide. Uh, a spectacular aging factor is uh, <laughs> our Achilles heel. That means that we have not only the genetics mostly. Uh, in the past they believed that our genoma is uh, responsible for our health status. Uh, and uh, possibly our future uh, diseases that we are going to express. But uh, this is not uh, the only thing. We have the epigenetics. The epigenetics uh, refers to the, modifi the modification on our DNA. Because it, this is important uh, because regulating biological processes uh, and uh, DNA methyla methylation. What is uh, this epigenetics? Epigenetics represents 80% of our health uh, status, the genes the 20%. So the epigenetics, we have sport and exercise, nutrition uh, and uh, other social factors, the way, the style of our life uh, could uh, interfere with our uh, chronic disease and uh, our expectancy of uh, life. This is the circle. 
uh, a circle of life that we can uh, result in uh, get to aging that we could uh, that we could interfere by epigenetic alter by using these epigenetic alterations. The longevity pathways uh, we are using the bio age test and the consultation with a personalized uh, report and recommendations. We could change nutrition, exercise, and supplements that we could use to, uh, to, to that we could use extensively also in this uh, program. The aging is a disruptive approach. We, we, we told that before, uh, but uh, we can do better now after the experience with uh, the recent pandemic of COVID-19. Uh, we promote this as a solution, the longevity, to enable necessary medical aid to everybody in our so social democratic systems. The, alterin the alternating aging, aging labyrinth is uh, the current health experiences. All Everyone goes to and visits a doctor only when it's necessary, sick, weak, uh, or visit a spa occasionally a year to have a reward. But in future health experience would be uh, all together, the social, the home, the work, the travel, the preventive, the personalized, all of these are going to be personalized to each patient through this study of the epigenetics. Our vision in CARES project that we could use this in CARES Valley uh, is, uh, first of all, yes, as a uh, well-known Cares wellness with all the aesthetics, nutrition, dietetics, holistic health, fitness center, etc. But this is the first part, the simple part. The second is the health park that we could use the very VIP geriatric premises, rehabilitation center, dialysis suites, the IVF clinic, the health coaching and short intensive dynamic psychotherapy, cosmetic dermatology and dentistry, a gynecological and gastroenterological rejuvenation. All of this could interfere with our epigenetics. Uh, this is, these are the methods that we could follow is a little bit, I don't want to enter now, I have this uh, question, uh, I don't want to enter in medical fields now, but I try to be more general. Uh, the follow-ups with monitor monitoring and diagnosis consultation, the 360 medical checkups, anamnesis, full body examination, etc., diagnostics with blood, saliva, urine, DNA, genetics, individualized uh, health programs uh, with, uh, to try to achieve this performance and longevity, the coaching, nutrition, stress, sleep, physical, everything is going to be under examination, and the treatments that we can use in this field. Uh, so, uh, in this longevity resort that we are uh, aiming now is uh, <coughs> going to cover, to have some services, of course, the health bar, the infusions, the beauty testing, coaching, checkups, treatment, and the supplements that we mentioned even before. And this all, we could uh, have it in, uh, with this uh, spectacular view from Julie's uh, uh, villa in Kea <laughs> uh, to dream all of this and to achieve it, to thank realize it. Thank, thank, you thank you very much. Thank you. Stay there now. Stay there. Um, so you're going to hear during the course of the, the next uh, today and tomorrow um, a number of different perspectives on Kia Valley. So if you go to Kia, K-E-A, valley.com, you start to see that. Uh, Jess Panasar, um, my business partner, is going to give the financial lead on that. Um, we've got Jean-Pierre Heim, who's a great friend of the firm, who's going to give his uh, thoughts on the architecture and the vision and the design. And Costas has just shared with you from a health and medical perspective, given his success in Mykonos and elsewhere, um, the, the kind of medical side of developing. So you can see this is a, a much bigger thing than just a kind of property development. This is really a community. And uh, the, what, you know, Costas and I, gosh, going all the way back to June 2021, we're on the back of Lampros. Where's my friend Lampros? He's on the phone right there. The best banker right there. If you need a banker in Greece. Oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, National Bank of Greece, Kalanaki branch manager. But when uh, Lampros introduced me to Costas, we started talking about it, what, what it would take to bring families out to uh, Kia. So, um, you know, everybody talks about the, the need for kind of, um, you know, uh, 
managed tourism and so forth. But what we have a vision of is really kind of almost 12 and to months. Also the local needs. That's right, 12 months G GDP and getting families to move out there and so forth. So part of that is having hospitals and healthcare facilities on the island. Absolutely. Um, any questions for um, Dr. Nassos? Any questions about um, healthcare um, specializations? I mean, I think it's. Uh, this is the land of the Hippocratic Oath. This is that there's so much from uh, historical, ancient healthcare in Greece, and we've spoken about that. What is your perspective as a you've you've practiced medicine in so many countries around the world? What does it feel like today to be a Greek doctor as, and an entrepreneur? What does that feel like? The interesting thing is that uh, I entered in this medical tourism because this is the field that combines both combines uh, the medical studies and the tourism that comes and could be supported obviously from Greece mm -hmm. because Greece is a beautiful country is one of the mm -hmm. <laughs> best I believe in, in the world yep. but because uh, combined sea and sun and uh, all these islands and this is the way to combine the medical uh, science yep. and to offer and to uh, attract also from other countries and to have an even more international way of uh, exchanging uh, the medical services here in Greece. Now, even though you're a global citizen, you are a Greek citizen, and so being an entrepreneur and Mykonos and so forth, that was it's always difficult to be an entrepreneur, but you were successful. What would it be like if somebody who's watching this when we, we broadcast this out is a doctor in another, let's say, coming out of Stanford Medical Center and wants to come to Greece to build. What is that process, do you think, of a international person coming into Greece as a doctor wanting to build and so forth? Do you think that would be insurmountable? Do you think it would be relatively accessible? To, to, yes, uh, it would be accessible. It would okay. be very easy to come. And, okay. uh, because it could cover to give many standards mm -hmm. that are worldwide acceptable. It's right. not... Uh, something that's going to be poorest or... Uh... Okay. Mr. H Harry Theo Harris was here about an hour or so ago and he talked about um, how the new democracy and the, the, yes. the government is going to be revitalizing the healthcare system. What's your perspective on that? This is a great <laughs> good job that they have to do mm -hmm. because they have to revitalize the public health system. Okay. This is another question. Mm -hmm. It has uh, many problems still now. Mm -hmm. But uh, they have done something, something new mm -hmm. in this field mm -hmm. by assuming new doctors. They want to keep new doctors here in Greece yep. because we have a, a great number of them that they are going abroad, not mm -hmm. only for studies, but also to work. Yep. And uh, since they are going there in other countries, uh, they are becoming very, very good in their fields and uh, very experienced and now they want to call them back. This is a great but uh, difficult job. I hope for them to achieve it. Excellent. Now, um, Chris Dolke, who's up there at, uh, when he and I uh, first uh, went to Kia in October 2020, um, we met with the mayor. Chris knows everybody on the island, and we, mm. we spoke to the mayor, and she said that it's very difficult to keep doctors on the island. We flipped it, as entrepreneurs do. We always flip the problem into a question about what would it take to bring great doctors to Kia. We have to create a base. We have to create new bases with new uh, sectors that could attract them back. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in poor medical services, in medical centers of uh, second category, it's not uh, easy to invite a new doctor. Uh, but with these programs and other medical centers that we are creating now, it's uh, easier and uh, will be attractive. And you've, you've used the expression center of excellence in Kia. Do you really believe that's, a po yes, that's possible? Of, yes, well, yes, because we are going to aim in particular fields uh, with uh, particular uh, therapies without uh, any problem, any, uh, anything to <laughs> reserve. Now, not everybody in the room may have heard of the Athens Medical Group and its reputation. What yes. should they know about the Athens Medical Group that they don't know? Uh, the Athens Medical Group is uh, one of the biggest uh, hospitals, private hospitals in Greece, with five hospitals in uh, Athens and one in Thessaloniki. Mm -hmm. with, uh, uh, in Thessaloniki, it's the center for whole Balkanian mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. countries. Uh, I have the honor there, the privilege to be director of uh, the pediatric ENT surgery mm -hmm. uh, for head and neck, uh, as a head and neck surgeon 
in skull mm -hmm. base uh, surgery for uh, children. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, yes, it's uh, an honor for me to be there. We have all this robotic and uh, every, everything uh, most advanced in uh, technology that we could use there. Excellent. Um, Costas, I know that you've been, uh, Giovanni, we've got a question from Giovanni Ford up there, please, and then we'll go to Henry. From Athens Medical yes. Group? Yes, from Athens Medical Group, yes. Yes, because I find it's interesting living in Europe that Istanbul and Turkey has received so much recognition for men's hair transplants. Yes. It's almost a common association. If yes, you want to get a hair a transplant, field. you go to Turkey. Yes. So. Kea or even Athens can become famous for... Yes, this is the easiest uh, part to, to, to promote. This is hair transplant, is a dermatological field that we could uh, support absolutely. Uh, we simply need to promote that more because in Turkey they are using these uh, low prices with so-and-so uh, -so medical uh, results as I uh, read <laughs> in the past. Very good. Ex Excellent. Henry, you have a question, please? Thank you. Uh, it's a bit specific, but now that you're here and uh, I can ask it, I think genetics and uh, all of that is one fascinating field that I'm quite Thank you. And, uh, you were talking about using uh, epigenetic losses, a measure of age, typically it's measured from the blood. Is it actually a good measure for measuring the neurological health? Because it's from the blood and not from the The neurological? Yeah, neurological health. And age. Yes, it is. It is, in, it is. It was in the presentation, the evaluation, the neurological evaluation, which could uh, include many exams, examinations that we could uh, perform in order to have the uh, right uh, evaluation of our brain. But this is a difficult uh, thing to do because our brain has many self-defense uh, systems. You know, even before our death, even before our Sad, a sudden death. Our, uh, you know the expression that I have seen all my life. I have seen many pictures coming. This is um, our brain's last effort to find back in his memory a way to resolve the problem, to avoid the, the, its own death. It's very egoistic, our brain. It doesn't care about the rest of our body. It only cares how to preserve itself. That's why it's very difficult to approach it. <laughs> Okay, um, we've got one last question from Matt, please, because we've got to get back on stuck, get, get that mic over to Matt, and then we'll, we'll move on. Thank you so Thank much. Cost has been really interesting. Hi, uh, good morning. I have a quick question, uh, maybe a little bit, um, let's say, not a pleasant one, but I'll try to pick up what Julie said, uh, flip an issue into an opportunity. Yeah. Uh, so um, across Europe in the healthcare sector, there's a major staffing issue. Have you thought about that already, how you're going to solve that? Will you recruit people from other countries, or what's the, the overall take on that? You mean as uh, doctors and nurses? Doctors, nurses, medical staff, and so on. No, in Greece, we, have, uh, we, have, we still have a number of nurses and doctors that we could uh, invite them to be in care as long as we establish uh, in Kea Valley uh, this modern and uh, very, uh, how can I say, out of order, <laughs> uh, out of the usual uh, center for, for longevity. This is very interesting for the new specializations for in gynecology, in gynecology and gastroenterology particularly. Excellent. Well, listen, um, uh, Dr. Nassos has been actually um, working all night taking care of people and uh, at a special... No, I have to return. You, you, oh, you have to return? <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. Um, but no, as a special favor, he came because I really wanted you to all have a sense of the quality, um, both in terms of intellectual rigor and professionalism, of one of um, Greece's uh, best doctors. Dr. Nassos, thank you so much for thank joining you, us. Thank you again. Thank, thank you very you much. For your really